do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen, again, we had over 200 years of slavery. We had Jim Crow for almost a, a, a century. We had legalized discrimination, segregation, and now we have it, it, le segregation and discrimination that is not legal but still exists and is a barrier to progress. We have disparities around housing. We have disparities around education. We have disparities around income. And we have to recognize that everybody did not start out on an equal footing in this country. And in particular, black people have not. And so we have got to recognize that and do something about that and give folks a lift up. That's why, for example, I'm proposing the LIFT Act. Give people who are making $100,000 or less as a family a tax credit, which will benefit and uplift 60% of black families who are in poverty. So by default, it affects black families, but there's not a particular policy for African Americans that you would explore. But no, if you look at the, it, the reality of who will benefit from certain policies when you take into account that they're not starting at the, at the same place and they're not, stand, they're not starting on equal footing. It will directly benefit black children, black families, black homeowners because the disparities are so significant. So if we focus on the specific issues that have resulted in the greatest disparities and we understand that that's part of why we're doing it, listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole in the country. Right? What's popping, y'all? This your boy, Bishop back for episode 100 uh today's episode is going to be is kamala harris really black but before i get started with this i want to send a shout out to a few new subscribers i want to send a shout out to tommy jones i want to send a shout out to raquel ward olive spence and nix max Thank y'all for subscribing. I really appreciate y'all. Now, the reason why I started that video uh, or that clip so y'all can hear Kamala Harris speak because I posted a video uh, about three months ago um, basically questioning her blackness. Don Lemon, you know, she, she was on CNN. Uh, I forgot the, the black lady that was debating with um, Don Lemon, you know what I mean? And had two other white guys on the panel, and they kept quiet, rightfully so. And uh, it's been three months, and I see a lot of people, that, you know, been sharing, I mean, obviously sharing it, viewing it, and talking about it, because the comments is pretty high. And, um, and it basically, Don Lemon was just basically throwing, you know, hey, like, because we all know what type of person he is, um, but he did have legitimate questions about her blackness. And again, going back to why I started that clip so y'all can hear that, because I see a lot of people defending her, especially black women defending her, uh, immigrants defending her, um, that she's black. She had a black father, but her black father's Jamaican and he's mixed with something else. So he's not totally Jamaican. If that makes sense. Um, my thoughts on it. Is she's not black. And the reason why I feel she's not black. Is because several reasons. Uh, one. You heard the clip of her speaking. If you love your people. That's like. Jewish people. Uh, Latinos. Uh, Arabs. When they get in certain powers of position, they will do for their people. There's nothing wrong with doing for your own people, regardless of what position you hold. So that's why Barack Obama gets so much flack now, because a lot of black people seem like, oh, man, he really didn't fuck with us like that. He put on the black suit. 
quote unquote, for black votes. So that's the same thing she doing. She's only black when she needs votes or she needs something from black people. But when black people need something for her, it's like, ah, I'm straight on y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do something for everybody. When she obviously admitted in the clip that we've been slighted. So if we've been slighted, how you don't have a Pacific agenda? So for the people who say, oh, well, she can't do nothing for just black people. Then they do something for uh, LGBT. Ain't that a Pacific group of people? Pacifically? Didn't they do something for immigrants? Isn't that a Pacific group of people? Didn't they do something for Jewish people? Isn't that a Pacific group of people? But when it come to us, it's like, oh, come on, y'all. We got to put everybody in y'all pot. We can't have nothing Pacific for y'all. To me, that's bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Second, um, she went to a HBCU. She's a Kappa, uh, whatever she is, in the fraternity, a Greek fraternity. So they saying that makes her black, right? My thing is, okay, so if that makes her black, then what does that say about black people who go to a predominantly white institution? So they not black? So black people who go to like, let's say I'm in Detroit. So let's say they went to Michigan State. People who went to Michigan State and claim a Greek culture, they, they not.